What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters, man. Let's get right off into this, man. So when we have these conversations of Mount Rushmore and things like that, I'm noticing surf name really comes up when we talk about Battle Rap's Mount Rushmore. One of the reasons why I believe is because he don't have enough matches under his belt and he haven't won enough matches under his belt. But as I'm looking at all the battles that's out there for him, it's crazy. It's a lot of battles and grudge matches out here. And I didn't think it was until I sat back. I sat back and thought about this. And when I sat back and thought about this and put this stuff together, man, it actually led into five, six more blogs that I can do. And this is one of them. How to get surf to road to the road to be in the Mount Rushmore conversations in he doing his last dance. So I call this Surf Last Dance on the road to Mount Rushmore. That's what I call this. Come on. Man. Yeah, hello. Hello. Oh, man. I hate when them people call and try to sell you stuff. How you, how you get your numbers, man? Anyway, with that being said, Surf Laugh Dance, Road to Mount Rushmore, man. Let's get off into this. Surf got some nice grudge matches out there that if he take these battles and be successful in these battles, he can be in the talks and be considered as actually being a candidate for Mount Rushmore. Let's get right off into this. I'm going to give you his top four grudge matches that's out there. Coming in at number four. No other than John John the Don, man. Surf, before he got incarcerated, him and John John was having words. And Surf was just saying, you don't do nothing for me. Who is John John? Don't nobody care if I take John John? You know how he be jacking, spazzing all on John John, talking crazy. Well, John John been on the roll lately, man. John John just beat Hollow the Don. John John beat Rum Nitty. John John beat Big K. Listen, man. John John ain't playing no game. You can't look at him as being some Rudy Poot rookie, man. John John definitely is worthy. John John definitely is a threat. And let's just be honest. How would you fare against John John, sir? How would you fare against John John, sir? You ain't that ain't no easy walk in the park for you. I personally think John John will beat you, brother. I don't think you might win. You might not even win around, especially seeing the animosity he had in his heart towards you and how much you tried to play that dude as though he was some type of lame. Well, guess what? His stock is on the rise. He definitely uh, is now a person in the battle rap community that people want to see. How would you fare with John John? No, I ain't going to even ask you. I'm talking to the people. How y'all think Surf will fare with John John? Do y'all think Surf can stand a chance against John John right now? Think about it. Coming in at number three, how would you fare going disrespecting this guy too? Things have changed since you've been gone, brother. Coming in at number three, no other than Cortez. Cortez come in at number three. Of course, you said for a long time you would not take Cortez. You don't want to take Cortez. I was very appalled that you were considering taking Iron Solomon, but not Cortez. That made no sense to me at all. Regarding to how you want to look at it, how intellectually you try to put it to justify it, makes no sense. If you can take Iron Solomon, you definitely can take Cortez. I would prefer Cortez over Iron Solomon any day. As far, you can't say Cortez ain't got the bar because he definitely got the bar. But he bring much more to that than a table. I I I I take Cortez overall than I would Iron Solomon when it comes to stage presence. When it comes to um, just delivering and giving the people, for the most part, in battle rap, what we would rather prefer. I would rather rock with Cortez over that. And again. I don't think you could beat Cortez right now. I think if you go up against Cortez, sir, you will lose. But if you pull out a Cortez and John John battle, fam, that says a lot. And it also goes a long way. The two dudes who you thought was unworthy of anything that the battle rap community wouldn't care, guess what? A victory over them two definitely catapult and skyrocket you to a position 
of actually being in the talks of being a candidate when it comes to Mount Rushmore. Just keeping it real. Coming in at number two. And not only that, do y'all believe Surf could be the Cortez right now? Coming in at number two. Mav Hoffa. Y'all definitely got history. And for what sources are telling me, you ducking him because he know a lot of personal stuff about you. And that he was around in certain situations that you was at. And he have a lot to say. And you don't want to take that battle. This is what sources are saying. I don't know if it's true because I don't live that where y'all at. Inside sources are telling me that. That this brother knows some things about you that you know he know. You don't want to go against him because the thing about Mav Hoffa, Mav get personal. All math battles, especially when you're going up against the top tiers who've been in the game long enough, so some of their history come out against them, math get personal. And math let it be known. Math will air out your dirty laundry. And when it comes to you right now, sir, and the level of where you at lyrically, because at one time I thought, at one time I thought math probably couldn't even compete with you at one time. But as of lately, the surf that I'm seeing right now, I give Mav definitely a chance against you. Especially in one of them battles where y'all talking that stuff to each other. Yeah, yeah. It'd be a good thing to see. It'd be a good thing to see. And this is a battle that must happen eventually sooner or later, man. Because it has history to it, man. This is definitely a grudge match between y'all two. And he wants it. And you ducking it. So, I don't know, man. What do y'all think? Do y'all think Tsunami Surf stand a chance against Math? Would you want to see that battle? I do. I always want to see Math go up against top tiers who have a history to them. I'm talking about real top tiers because it get personal and he take it personal against them and he pull out he pull out everything. So I definitely really want to see that. Coming in at number one, no other than Mook. We already know this battle was supposed to been went down. Surf was mad as hell when ARP booked that uh Surf and uh that uh Mook and Bird. Surf was mad, man. He wanted to be the one to get Mook that loss. He wanted to be the one to cut Mook, even if Mook would have beat him. He at least knew that him in the ring with Mook, he could at least get around at the least. Any real solidified top tier can at least get around off Mook. Seeing that Mook had an eleven and old record, uh, 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 not losing around in eleven rounds, it was so much, man, that that Sir could have capitalized off of. Only for now, Verb to be the one to get everything that Surf was expecting to get out of Mook. I don't even know if this battle, to some degree still have that power and magnitude to it that it once had, man. Seeing that Mook now lost the verb. Majority of the battle rap community got him losing on every um you know on every poll. You know what I'm saying? So but it still means something. Beating Mook holds volume and it says a lot. He don't highly lose, but he don't highly take battles neither. So I believe if Surf Knock down these four grudge matches because these some battles, man. If he knocked down them, man, that stuff would be crazy. <coughs> I mean, and I'm sorry, I forgot one person I got to put him in here. I don't know how I forgot him. I guess I would put him at number five. Goods. Surfing Goods. Surfing Goods got that, um, they got that history where they went and they got into it with each other. They were supposed to met up with each other. And Good said he rolled down on Surf and talked to him. And you know what I'm saying? They had that little fallout on PSA Podcast, which actually led to me and PSA Podcast uh, having a little friction between us. But we settled our differences, man. Shouts out to Dre on that. But one of them things uh, happened between me and him behind that situation and incident. But it went down, man. And in the process of it going down, man, uh, Goods and Surf, another one, man. Goods and Surf, another one. If Surf could knock down Goods, John John, Cortez, Math and Mook, those is five grudge matches. 
Those are his five grudge matches. I ain't put Iron Solomon on there because it's not. There's no history in that. It ain't really nothing but Twitter talking. But these five I put up there is definitely the five top grudge matches for Tsunami Surf. That Tsunami Surf need to uh, uh, get out the way. And this will position him as being one of the best battle rappers ever. If he can beat these dudes, and actually will put him as a candidate on Mount Rushmore. I think when it comes to Tsunami Surf career, these are the top five. These are the top five that's left for him. I'm talking about that we see uh, that, that has importance to it. Battles that I think will bring the best out of Tsunami Surf because I know he don't want to lose to none of these dudes I just named. He don't want to lose to Goods. He don't want to lose to John John. He don't want to lose to Cortez. He don't want to lose to Mav. He don't want to lose to Mook. And if you heard how he spoke on these guys, belittling them, really elevating himself over them, he can't afford to lose to them that they will have the upper hand to rub that in his face and make him eat his own words. So what do y'all think? How y'all think Surf are fair? And then top five grudge, ma grudge matches of his. How do you think Surf would fare? Do you think he'll win two out of the three, three out of the two? Do you think he can sweep the whole board? Or who do you think he would be who would give him the hard, the, the hardest problem? Who would be his, who would give him the his hardest problem? Who would be the hardest problem with Surf out of these five? Goods, John John Cortez, Mav for Mook. Who you think he'll be easily? Could he even beat any of them easily? I don't think so. I honestly don't think so. But I'm going to leave it up to the people, man. Now it's up to y'all to decide. But this is Surf Last Dance on his road to uh, uh, Mount Rushmore, man. His top five grudge matches. Who do y'all believe? No. How many of these battles out of the five do you think Surf have the possibility of winning? Let's talk about it. This Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours. Look, subscribe to Battle Truth, man. Get styrofoams and ashtrays, man. If you rock with me and you ain't got styrofoams and ashtrays yet, shame on you. It's only a dollar. Hit the link in the description box. It's going to send you right to the song. Order it for a dollar. My number, 414-235-6760. Screenshot me proof of purchase. I'm going to put you in our group that started this Saturday. I'm going to have exclusive content in the group only for that group, nobody else, a page of chapters of my life, maybe a roasting session, I don't know, it's going to be fire though, but it's going to be only exclusive for that group, I'm going to put it up in there man, and in the process of that, guess what man, we finna make it happen, we going to get it cracking, I want y'all to be a part of it man, support your boy man, let me know that my worth is not, uh, 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 let me know that my worth is not going, going down in vain, man, and that y'all appreciate what I do. So if you rock with me and you listen to me every day, if you ain't got styrofoams and ashtrays, I'm just going to keep it real. Shame on you, man. Help your boy out, man. Real talk. And it's Battle Troop. It ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Troop.